Walt Disney World opened its doors to the public in January of 1970. Over the first year of operation, over half a million people visited the property. Wait a second. I just said the resort opened its doors to the public in 1970. The Magic Kingdom and Contemporary opened in 1971. Where did the year 1970 come from? This doesn't make any sense. What's going on here? Okay, to clarify, the Magic Kingdom and Contemporary did open in October of 1971, but that is not what we are here to talk about today. Hello everyone, and welcome to the second episode of The History Of. My name is Tucker, but you can call me Epcat, and in today's episode, we will be discussing the Walt Disney World Preview Center. Before we begin, please be sure to subscribe, leave a comment on what you want to see next, and maybe even check out my merchandise down below. Now grab your popcorn, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. When Walt Disney World began construction in 1967, the general public, of course, was very interested in the Vacation Kingdom. As a result, the Walt Disney Company tried to come up with ways to entertain the guests and make hype for the Walt Disney World project. This is why, in mid-January of 1970, the Walt Disney Preview Center opened for visitors. The $500,000 Preview Center was used as a location for tourists and media to see concept art and motion pictures about the first five years of the resort. The tour even had a massive model of the property. The 625 square foot model of the park showed everything planned within phase one of the property. The thing that makes this so cool today is that there were a few things that were showcased that never came to be. A few examples include the Asian, Persian, and Venetian hotels. The plans even called for a pyramid style main building for the then called Polynesian Village Resort. And that is a stark contrast to the great ceremonial house that we got today. During the early days of the center, you would find many topiaries that would eventually be showcased in the park. During the later days, you could even book a room at one of the two first hotels at Walt Disney World. They had a store where you could buy merchandise and snacks. All this for a property that wasn't even built yet. When you entered the preview center, you were greeted by 14 young hostesses who would walk you around and show you what the resort would look like. These women were chosen by appearance out of a pool of over 400 people. Two Disneyland hostesses evaluated the applicants. One of the Disneyland hostesses said, and I quote, We looked for that fresh, natural appearance that our organization tries to reflect. The center was open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day up until the Magic Kingdom's opening in October of 1971. When the preview center opened, it hosted 12,000 visitors over the first three days of operation. Now this was twice the amount of people Disney was expecting, and it didn't stop there. Over the first 15 months, more than 800,000 visitors were given a tour throughout the center. That is a lot of people. At the time, this would have been one of the most popular attractions in Florida, which is kind of insane to think about. Especially considering that Walt Disney World didn't open till a year later, and it has an average annual attendance now of 52 million people. That is 52 times the amount of people that visited. After the Magic Kingdom opened, the preview center was closed, but the building has still been used to this day. It served many purposes, once being a reception center for all guest hotels on Preview Boulevard, it was even used as a post office. But today, it is being used as the headquarters for the Amateur Athletic Union. Other than bushes that have been growing for a long time, this building has been left primarily unchanged from the outside. This is one piece of Disney history that just not many people know about, and I think it's pretty cool that you could see what the theme park was going to look like over a year in advance of the opening. Anyway guys, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to check out my website, leave a like if you're new, subscribe, hit the bell, check out my merchandise down below. Tell me what you guys think you want to see next in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a magical day everyone. Thank you.